Okay. Hi, YouTube. It's Miles. Um, bringing you my first official buddy fight deck profile. That's right. I hopped to the Superior game. Um, so I got into buddy fight with the did release you superior of Superior Call to the Superior game. Did you kill yourself? Um. Uh, so a while back, I picked up the starter deck for Thora because he's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I was like, hey, I want to build that. And then I finished the deck actually on one day right before, um, what do you call that thing? Grand Fest. And then I entered it and it performed pretty well. I made it into top 64. 40. One above Richard. You weak ass bitch. So, let's do the deck profile. If um, you made the top 16, you scrub. I got one life counter, because <laughs> you need those. Damn it, I was going to do that in my profile, he beat me to it. Then there's my buddy, good old Quintessence Crystal Dragon Athora. Um, he's gorgeous. So his ability is, uh, so it's call cost? Because I'm poor. Stop being poor. Hey, Richard had a dream that you're poor, so you're going to be poor one day. That's not how it works. Richard's yes, it too is. too stupid to be a psychic. So basically, um, so it's a, it's a 727 and it's a side three. This deck is literally just wall dot deck. The deck, my name, the deck's name is the Great Wall of America. Um, and it's call cost is pay three gauge and put the top two cards of your deck into the soul. Uh, so it does double soul guard, double attack, and, um, if it's on the center, it can't be destroyed by card effects at any time. And you take no effect damage, so any burn abilities or penetrate doesn't do shit to you unless this card is killed. Got my- People die when they are killed. Yes, if you die in the game, you die in for real. Got my star dragon world flag, um, with the nice sleeve. That uh, Richard got me, so thanks to that Richard. Shut the fuck You're welcome, up. Miles. <laughs> Kill yourself. So, moving on to the size three. Again, the majority of the deck is size threes. Because uh, that's the center of it. So, for Quintessence Crystal Dragon Thora, it is like the main card of the deck. Um, also, I learned yesterday they can also counter, counter attacks, that's good. For um, Avatar of Glass Crystal Thora, this is the one in the new um, Crossing Generation set. So, here, you know what, this is annoying. I can do this. There we go. Yeah, I was about to say. So, uh, call cost is pay three gauge and put one card from the top of your deck to the soul. And what it, so it has counter attack, no double attack. It is a seven, three, seven, size three. And what it does is that, um, it has soul guard as well. What it does is that, uh, it can't, again, okay, so all Thoras have the ability where if, if they're on the center, they can't be destroyed by card effects. And then, um, this one is that, uh, hang on, the camera looks like crooked. Okay. Go. Fine. Um, the ability is like, so if it's on the center, it can't be destroyed, but then also, when you cast this once per turn, when you cast a spell on your opponent's turn, you can draw. So let's say they're attacking this, I can cast a spell to nullify its destruction, I'll get to draw one card, and then because this has inherent counterattack, I can destroy the attacking monster. Pretty damn good. It's, it's actually helped me in a lot of my games. Um, then for Green Crystal Dragon Sheldre, this card's fantastic. Uh, it's more of like an offensive card. It's 825 size 3. You're welcome. Um, call cost is uh, put the top card of my deck into the soul and pay 2 gauge. Um, whenever this card is destroyed, I get to heal 1 life. But also, whenever it attacks, um, uh, whenever it attacks, I uh, if I have 7 life or more, I can choose one of my opponent's units, monsters on the field, and destroy it. So it's fantastic for board wiping. Like, it's just really good, and it's got double attack. So if I'm at seven life or more, I can pull off two destructions a turn. Also, soul guard is fun, so I can heal two to three, depending on what I have in my hand. Um, finally, for Jade Crystal Dragon Chartreuse, it's a triple rare in the new set, Crossing Generations. Call cost is pay one gauge, and if you have an originally size three Prism Dragon on your center, when this card's on the left and right, it becomes a size zero. It's a six to six also, so you can have two of these on your left and right, and then a Thora in the center, and just be... You'll be fine on defense. Um, it's great too, so its other ability is that um, at the end of the battle that, uh, that a Prism Dragon on your field, a Prism Dragon monster on your field was attacked, if you still have a Prism Dragon monster on your center, that's a size 3, I believe? No, just if you have a Prism Dragon on your center, burn your opponent for 1 damage once per turn. So it's like, I have this, this, and then let's just say this. They attack, I'll soul guard or defend it, it's still alive, okay cool, they burn two. I actually killed a guy who is using defensive Oni Assassins, which I absolutely hate now, because of this card. Get God. No. Well actually I did, that's why I won. 
Um, I don't run any size ones or twos. Instead, I run four of this size zero Rizzling. It's from the secret pack in um, XBTO1. Its skill is just, it's a one, one, three, and its skill is just on call. If you have a Prism Dragon size three on your center, draw. So it's just a free plus one. Pretty nice. Then spells. Okay, so I run four Prism Relic. The reason being is that I run 16 size threes. So I was like, okay, I like this, but what I'm gonna, what, what, what can I do for gauge and consistency? Prism Relic helps for that. It's, um, to cast it, you have to discard a size three Prism Dragon from your hand. So the having 16 kind of helps. You pay, so once it casts, you charge three, heal one, and draw one. So it's just like a mixture of invisible light and enhancement, which is, originally what I ran multiples of, but this helps the ratio. Speaking of enhancement, we run four of those. I realized the deck needed more draw power, if not more gauge. Um, so enhancement is if you have a size three Prism Dragon on your center, when you cast it, uh, charge one from the top of your deck and draw. Um, it's, you could run Starjack Boost because that's if you have seven life or more. It's, it's, it's enhancement, but with seven life or more rather than a size three, but in almost all of my games, I saw a size three. They're, they're the two games that I lost. No, sorry, two of the three games I lost yesterday, I didn't see a size three. Um, and that really sucked. But like, uh, I kept looking through my deck and in like Star Jack Boost, even if I had that, I wouldn't have drawn into size three. But either way, it's situational, it's pretty nice. Um, I also like the aesthetic of this card more than Star Jack Boost, but uh, you can honestly run both if not, I mean you can e run either if not both. The guy I was playing was running like some ratio of enhancement to uh, Star Jack Boost. He was running like multiples, so you could give that a shot. Um, I run for Brush Upper. This, it's a counter and uh, what you, you can only cast it if you have a size three, pris if you have a Prism Dragon on your center, pick a Prism Dragon card. So yeah, you can pick your item if it's Prism Dragon. And the next time it would be destroyed, it is not destroyed. Then, if your life is at six or more, you can charge one. So it's nice to get gauge. Um, it helps to defend your wall. The deck is basically just setting up a size three in the center and defending it like your life depends on it because it kind of does. Um, uh -huh, life was that a buddy <clears throat> fight reference? Yes, because this is buddy fight, you dumbass. Reading is hard. Um, all right, I run four Radiant Shell. Uh, this is like the, this is one of the main nullifiers of the deck. Um, so it's when your center Prism Dragon monster is being attacked, so they cannot attack any other card. Uh, you can cast it, pay one gauge, nullify the attack, and then deal one damage to your opponent. So there's a fun little burn four combo that I like that's in this deck. I'll show it to you at the end. It's not even a combo, it's just a field. Yes. Uh, for additional jewel, so in the starter deck, there was that one counter that's, you know, give pr uh, Prism Amulet, where it's just pick a Prism Dragon in battle and give it plus three, plus three in counter attack. This is much better. It's give it, um, it's choose a Prism Dragon monster in battle, and until end of the battle, it gets plus 5k defense and counter attack. So, um, there are a lot of times where you'll, your opponent will have to link attack to get over your already great wall, and this just helps make your wall greater. Make walls great again. Exactly. To extend Defender. Um, this card's pretty situational, so I only run it at a two of. It's that you can only cast it if you have a monster on your field with two or more soul. And the only card in this in this deck that you would the only monster in this deck that you have that just already has two soul off the bat. No. Thank you. Um, the only card that you get off the that has two soul off the bat is uh, Quintessence Crystal Dragon Athora, but I do run a card that adds that can be added to the soul, so that can help. Anyway, so it's pay one gauge counter, pick one of the following two. For this um, uh, for this turn, the next time you would take damage, it is reduced to zero, so it's a good way to stay alive, uh, but not very applicable with this deck because if you have a size three on your center, you're not going to take damage. And then its other ability is that you can pick a card, you can pick a monster. Yeah, pick a monster on your opponent's field and rest it. So like, bots and um, Neo's Vi kind of hit this deck pretty hard with their like double, triple attacks and all that. This just completely ruins it. So it's like, oh, you're entering battle phase. Okay, I'll cast. You can't even attack now. Um, so two of. Don't want to run too many. I I was, um, I was gonna sideboard. I was gonna sideboard it, but I'm actually poor right now and broke, so I don't have a sideboard. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get one. 
uh, to delete Jewel. You can only cast this if you have a size 3 Prism Dragon in your center. Again, this deck is very reliant in having that size 3 on your center. You may want to run, like, Dispersion, which is, um, uh, if you have a size, if you have a Prism Dragon on your center, uh, no, it's if your, um, life is, like, Oh, no, it's not. It's if you have a Prism Dragon on your center, pay two gauge, draw two. It can be used multiple times a turn. It helps with draws. Like, you might want to have more of a draw engine in this deck. This deck worked perfectly for me yesterday. Uh, so I just don't really see a need to change it. But hey, you're free to try it out. Anyway, Delete Jewel. Um, pay one gauge and one life. Pick one of the following two abilities. Either put all souls from a, uh, from a monster on your opponent's field into the drop zone. So, you know, it's good against Neo's Vi. Um... Jackknife, Star Dragon World, uh, and um, actually a Thora Mirror matches. Uh, you just remove all the soul or pick a monster or pick a card on your opponent's field and destroy it. Um, so good for item destruction. It's just all around a pretty good card, but I would not run too many of it. And then the card that I mentioned that can be put into the soul for mystery setting. I originally ran this at a two and then realized I was being a dumbass, so I upped it to four. Its ability is that you put it. Um, uh, you put it into the soul of a monster on your field. While it's in the soul, um, it cannot be removed through abilities, so Delete Jewel can't remove it. Um, that one generic card that's removed two soul from the so from a um, remove removed. two soul from a monster. That's the card, yeah. Remove it can't. It's just it it stays in there. Um, Loki can't do anything to it. The only way to remove it is by Soul Guard or by like. Um, uh, if you bounce the card back to hand and they don't soul guard, basically. That's or if your opponent has an Agaia. Uh, I hate Energaia. There's only one counter to that in this deck, and it's like a four of only. Anyway, um, technically two. Anyway, uh, so while it's in the soul and your monster is being attacked once per turn, charge one gauge. So it helps fuel gauge. It gives an additional soul guard. It can't be removed. Just all around a good card. Also, you know, the three size threes that actually have soul in this deck all get their soul from the top of the deck. There's sometimes where I'm actually able to sack and just shove this from the top of the deck into the soul. Also, if you have multiples in the soul, each of their skills go off because it's not an ability name. So if you have two in the soul and your monster gets attacked, charge two. There was one point where I was charging three at a time. I had so much gauge, it's fantastic. Then items, like the athlete I am, I run crystal spikes. Um, yeah, they're not soccer. They're called spikes. And track runners use spikes, not cleats. So get your facts straight, Bush Road. So anyway, the ability of this card, sorry, um, basically uh, the it's pay one gauge to equip. Um, it's a 0, zero 4 k so it's more defense than anything, but you actually don't really, you're not supposed to attack with it. Um, why would you actually? Uh, so what it does is, um, the ability of a Prism Dragon on your center cannot be nullified, so it's the counter to Ener Gaia. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, your Prism Dragon on your center gets 2k defense and 2k attack. So, like, Quintessence becomes a 9k, 9k. Uh, and that actually really helps on defense. Because usually, like, the beat sticks that are, you know, prevalent right now, like bots and Neo's Vi cards, are, like, 7 to 8. So, they will need to link attack to get over it, which is... I like it. Um, then also, remember Shard Shoots, how it just deals 1 damage? This has the same ability. Like, after a card on your field... After a monster on your field is attacked, if you still have a Prism Dragon in your center... Um... Or no, after a Prism Dragon on your field was attacked, if you still have a Prism Dragon on your center, deal them one damage. Uh, and then the ability that gives your monster 2k, 2k, and allows its ability not to be nullified can also not be nullified. So, um, the only way around it is, like, item destruction, basically. Uh, which, uh, there's some stuff that can get through it. And then three Cristiano Ronaldo Crystal Shoot. Uh, to you weebs out there who have never played a sport before in your life, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is that one famous soccer player who I think got arrested or something. I don't know. Yeah, that one famous soccer player. Yeah, he no plays others. soccer. Uh, I don't care about soccer, actually. I really dislike it. Um, anyway, so this is a fun one. Um, you can only cast this card if you have a Prism Dragon in your center, if you have not taken any damage that turn, and if your opponent has four life or less. So pretty situational. Um, your spikes, your radiant shell, and your shard shoots help you get 
closer to that goal, so it's not actually that hard to pull off. Um, on your opponent's uh, um, impact, our uh, final phase is when you cast this card, it is not your own. What you do is, is that if you meet the conditions, you pay only two gauge and you deal four damage to your opponent. They cannot be revived, so Dragon Dry can't activate. Um, that one that one BTO1 Magic World card can't activate. I don't think that matters because no one runs it anymore. They just cannot revive from it. So this is insta-death. You just cannot, you're, you're done. Um, I actually think the new Chaos card, that one uh, self-purification can save you. Um, I think it lets you heal can save you. So yeah, exactly. So if you can heal, heal, yeah, so if you can heal, you'll be all right. This, so the damage cannot be nullified, reduced, and you will, you just die. Asterism effect counters it in the mirror match. That's also true, but you're technically only alive for one more turn or something like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, which happened in the anime, actually. Okay, so, um, that's the deck. Uh, let me know what you think. I just got it back into buddy fight. Where's so. your sideboard? Right, so I'm poor, so I don't have a sideboard, but if I did have one, I would probably run like four Athora SD for more protection. Um, I just don't main deck it. There's just no room and it's not, it's honestly not that helpful. I have enough protection in this deck as is, uh, but hey, the more the merrier. Um, yeah, uh, right now my current sideboard was like, the sideboard I used yesterday was two Ferment for redirecting, three Gamain for mirror matches and Neo's Vi, two Dispersion for draw power, and three Brush Upper for some extra gauge. Brush it was terrible. I mean, um, Fragment Reload. I always there get those mixed up. It was terrible, actually. I never used my sideboard. I, I used my sideboard in, I think, two games. But anyway, um, so yeah, four Athora SD. Uh, maybe you could do two Dispersion for more draw power. Um, and then I would do one more Extend Defender and one more Delete Jewel, or you could do 2-2, two, two. but also there's that one card, um, Anti-Matter Cloud, which is like, when your opponent calls a card to the field, calls a monster to the field, just discard one and nullify the call. Really good in just any matchup. Because you're nullifying the call, not the destruction. Like, it was great. Yesterday a guy used Hades Fall and he just couldn't pull it off because Athora can't be destroyed. So Hades Fall was worthless. Uh, yeah, so that's the deck. Um, I'll probably update it and have a new one for you uh, maybe next month after um, Chaos Control Crisis drops because there's new stuff for that. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you a lot. Um, leave a like, comment maybe, and take care. This is Miles signing off from Nexus Core.